S say, uh, uh, Dr. John. Hello, Dr. John. Glad you could return to us, Mr. Dr. I don't think he wants to talk to us. Not today means later, yeah. But what if I wanted it today? <laughs> oh. Can I ask you some more questions? Why the hell do you visit Marie Lavos tomb every day? Oh St. John's Eve. What can you tell me about St. John's Eve? It is one of the important ceremonial nights in Voodoo. Mm. Have you ever heard of Dambala? Of course. It is one of the Loa. I don't think he really wants is to talk about that. Ogun Badagri mean anything to you? I do not believe so. Isn't he one of the Loa? Perhaps. I am not familiar with some of the more obscure history hmm. of African lore. Okay. Do you know anything about Veves? I believe they have something to do with Haitian food. But that is not really hmm. an area. Uh, animal masks? Do you know anything about animal masks? I used to have some antique African totem masks. But they were on the point of disintegration. So I removed them. Okay. Yeah, I don't really think he wants to talk to me. Even though I really want to get a scale of the snake, but... Gabriel has no interest in the noisy fan at the moment. Okay. Where would I get an address? The police station? Wait, did our shop have a yellow pages book that I didn't see or something? Probably. Why doesn't you miss me? So I came back. <laughs> really? I forgot you were gone. Like, why don't we have? Well, it was ninety three, so Google wasn't really a thing, I guess. Um, can we just ask Grace? Like, Grace, do you know what the hell I have to do with this? Does this mean anything to you? Sure, I'm the one that gave it to you, remember? Yeah, I want to ask you what... God damn it, Grace. <laughs> what? Do we have a Yellow Pages book? The old desk is one Gabriel picked up near a dumpster. Not too shabby, huh? Well, okay. Maybe it is. Yeah, it's a pretty linear game. I think. So... Just need an address book. Do we have one here? Oh, we can't look at the counter anymore. Hmm. Get Grace's good. Do we have one on the bookshelf, perhaps? For some reason? No. Damn it. In the bedroom? Do we have a Yellow Pages book? Several dozen books, including a few of Gabriel's novels, Aww. occupy the shelves above his desk. So Madame Kazanu goes to the store, the voodoo store, but she doesn't want other people knowing that she's into voodoo. She also has a stupid little dog. And she's old. And she has uh, trouble with some other people practicing voodoo. At least that's what she says. Would she be in the park with her dog? I've been to the park before though. Uh, no, her first name starts with an A. Which 
would she be here? Probably not. Oh, no, that's the artist. Is it? Who are you? You have a snake. The booth is a colorful melange. It announces the owner as Madame Lorelei and gives prices for palm readings. $20, crystal ball on, gazing boys. $15, and birth charts $50. Where did you Madame put the snake? Lorelei lounges at the booth, fondling her snake. I'm looking, I'm looking. Gabriel leers at the dancer, Thanks, boys. but she seems to want a more overt demonstration of his appreciation. What does that mean? Yeah, I was trying in the store. Like, wouldn't they have a register of their clients? Or in the police department. Maybe I should check the police department first. Like, they must have a register there, right? Can I just ask Mosley? Maybe. Probably not, though. Come on in. I guess they fixed the thermostat because he's wearing his coat. Can I show him? Seem to work that way. Can I talk to him? Can I ask you about some stuff? You're the writer. Ask away. What can you tell me about St. John's Eve? That's coming up, isn't it? We get some occasional weirdness in the quarter, but nothing much. It used to have a lot of strange things happen, though, or so I hear. You know, you have a unique way of wearing clothes that's, well, the way they kind of hang, pleating over that stomach of yours, drooping off your butt. We can't all have the body of a 12-year-old like you, Knight. Oh my god, I think I know where to get her address. Oh my god, she has a dog. You know, Oops. if you started carrying a lot That's not what I meant to do. You might get more respect as a detective. Go to hell. Get back to the phone. Um Hey Grace, here I am. Oh boy, party time. <laughs> Grace loves us. Um, let's see, what was the number of the animal uh, place? Five, 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 zero, one, seven, zero. Caging Creators Animal Clinic, this is Melissa. Animal <laughs> sacrifice snakes. Hmm. Do you have a Madame Casino as a client? Madame Casino? Sure, I know her. She's not here right now, though. Really? Hmm. She told me she'd be there. Would you happen to have her address by any chance? Uh, yeah, but I'm not sure I should give it out. Who are you again? I'm worried about Castro. He's missed three dance lessons. <laughs> Oh my god. Thanks. <sighs> this is so ridiculous. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, let's uh, go to Madame Casino. <laughs> the little doggy has the, has the little picture. Uh, 
Uh, let's see, let's knock on the door. Yeah, there's so much stuff you can do in this game. Like, probably if you want to get all the points, you need to do all those things. Yes, who is it? Um... <laughs> Land shark. Voodoo article. No, I don't think she's going to appreciate that. Hi, I'm doing an article on voodoo, and I heard that you are... I'm a good Catholic young man. Yeah, I thought so. Influence elsewhere. But I just have a few questions. I can feel the evil eye. Go away. The evil eye. So she's pretending to be Catholic. Yes, who is it? Please let me talk to you, Madame Casano. I do not talk to strangers, young man. <sighs> Can I use it? On me? Can't say I've ever seen a priest in a t-shirt. I'll need something else to make this stay on. Yeah, you got the, the shirt. Um... The black shirt. This black shirt won't get me into Madame Casanova's by itself. I'll have to dress it up a little. <sighs> Combine items, okay. <laughs> okay. So now we can wear that. I hope. This disguise is almost ready. <sighs> I hate to say it. And that's why we have the I hair gel. My hair to be more. Respectable. <laughs> Respectable. I don't think hair gel alone is going to convince her I'm the respectable type. <laughs> Do we combine it again? Oh my god. Oh, no. Alright. But this is private. Oh my god, he looks horrible. In jeans. Yes, who is it? And from the church. Fa Father McLaughlin. It's Father McLaughlin to see you. Father McLaughlin, you say? Hmm. You must be new in Silverish. I'm so pleased to meet you, Father. Why are we mimicking... Thank you, my child. Why are we mimicking an Irish accent? Please be seated, Father. Oh, we look horrible. Now, what can I do for you? Um... Do you mind if I ask you a few questions, my child? Of course not, Mon Père. What can you tell me about voodoo? People think I'm just a foolish old woman, but I know the things they do. My family's been in New Orleans since 1750, so I know more than most. Voodoo people are all over the city, in the shops, everywhere. They'll curse you like that, and most people don't even notice. Spit on your bread at the bakery, take strands of your hair at the store when you try on clothes. You have to be so careful. But I know their ways, so I can protect myself. I know how to use the magic, too. And I can counteract their evil spells. Oh. Do you know anything else? Tell me more about voodoo in New Orleans. It's just <laughs> the accent. It's dangerous to even discuss. Oh my god. What do you know about the voodoo murders? <laughs> voodoo murders? They are nothing new to me, Pazia. They are no the time. I hardly go out anymore. It's too dangerous in the streets. They can get you anywhere, you know. Even here, in this room. But I try not to let them know about me. That's the best way. What else do you know about the voodoo murders? Shh! They'll hear you. What can you tell me about New Orleans? The only true New Orleans are of French origin, you know? My family were among the original settlers of New Orleans. 
They came here from France. The Creole society used to be so gay in New Orleans. Now it barely hangs on by its fingernails. <laughs> Do you know anything about snakes? Snakes? They are evil creatures. Did you know that evil people can send them into your dreams? They can. That's why I never sleep. Right. Thanks. <laughs> right. Thanks. Do you know anything else about snakes? It would be bad luck to talk about that anymore. <laughs> what can you tell me about <sighs> St. John's Eve? Oh, St. John's Eve, Mary. I used to love the St. John's Eve Mass at St. Louis Cathedral. Of course, it is also a night of great wickedness. Most <sighs> in All Hallows Eve. They will corrupt anything, Father. They? They who? Oh, you know. No, I don't. What else can you tell me about St. John's Eve? I don't think I should say any more about that. Do you have any idea what Cabri Saint Carl means? Maybe I know. I bet you do not know, Father. I don't need to chill me. That's the bad. It means goat without horns. Father, you surprised me. You do know what it means. So now she trusts you know us. What they mean by goat without horns? Don't you? A human being. That's right. Slit your throat. Cut out your heart. Pure evil blood. Oh, gosh. Do you know anything about human sacrifice here in New Orleans? Well, my great grandma there could tell stories. She saw it. People say that sort of thing wasn't done in New Orleans. But the real voodoo queens did it. Oh, yes. Hmm. The real voodoo queens. Who are the real voodoo queens? The Gettys. Well, my great grandmother told me that Lavo was just a fun, a flamboyant decoy. She distracted authorities from the real voodoo queen of New Orleans. It's been the same one for almost 200 years. No. She's head of a secret voodoo enfant. That's what they call their temples, you know. It's so secret. Most of the voodoo people <coughs> in the city don't even know about it. The real voodoo queen controlled Lavo, gave her a little bit of power, and used her like a puppet. Yeah. So, the Hon 4 is... You know, like, in the middle it has, like, the totem pole, so wouldn't that be the voodoo museum? Tell me more about this secret voodoo hound for. Well, I've Town never seen four. it. I wouldn't go near it if you paid me. But it's here in New Orleans, I guarantee it. I hear their drums at night, oh yes. That's why I'm so ill, I tell you, those drums. But we shouldn't talk about it. They'll hear us. <clears throat> it's the devil's work that happens there, I can tell you. I'll show you something. Oh? Something secret. You mustn't tell anyone, Father. I swear on my collar. Here that isn't is yours. There. A true object of evil if ever there was one. It radiates something, all right. It belonged to my great grandmother. She told my mother that it was a token to gain entrance to the real voodoo ceremonies. <laughs> you don't say. To tell you the truth, I've always felt nervous about having it in the house. You know, evil <laughs> evils and all. I can see how you would, yes. And yet, I could never part with it. It's been in the family for generations. Would you bless it for me, Father? Sure. I feel strange asking such a thing of you, but surely you understand. Bless this bracelet of a snake. Even though its vibes aren't great, <laughs> they do nobody harm when they wear it on their arm. Voodoo spirits, go away. Don't come back another day. And now, let us pray. Shit. I'm supposed to do something, aren't I? It's a bracelet in the shape of a snake. Shit. What do I... <clears throat> what do I do with that?
clay. Did I use the clay on it? I think that's enough, Father. Oh, right. Here you go. Shit. Can I see that snake bracelet again? I'm not sure the first person... Oh, I have to figure out first what I have to do. I do admire your thoroughness. Yeah, don't worry, I'll probably come back five more times. Because I'm not entirely sure. What is the bracelet, Fazer? Bless this bracelet of a snake. Even though its vibe let it do nobody harm when they wear it on their arm. Voodoo spirits, go away. Don't come back another day. And now let us pray. I can't do anything while he's doing that. Can I use the clay on it? Gabriel has a thought about the clay. Bless, so oh bless this circlet of silver. It's look like gold. Take the curse, oh take it, Wilbur. Wilbur. <laughs> oh my God. Lovely blessing, mon père. Yes, I think it made a lasting impression. <laughs> Here you go. I feel so much better now. You're welcome. You're welcome. Do you know anything about animal masks? No, Fazia. I don't know anything about that. Do you know anything about Marie Laveau? Oh, her. I could tell you about her. Voodoo Queen? Ah, my great grandmother was an acolyte of Marie Laveau. She knows the truth about her. Yeah, the real one is. Getty, probably. Do you know anything about Vevis? No, Fazia. I don't know anything about that. So she's not really into voodoo. Have you ever heard of Dambala? No. Fazia. Like only the small I things. Don't know anything about that. Like only the the Grigri things. I mean, I don't think I really need anything. Do I leave? Bless you, my child. Bless you, Father McLaughlin. Jesus, can we get that outfit off of us? <laughs> looks horrible. <laughs> it looks so bad. Can we take it off? Just. Gabriel won't be needing that disguise again. Yeah. Okay, so. I guess it'll go away on its own. Um, so we have an imprint. Like a mold. No, I wanna look at it. It's a clay mold of Madame Casano's snake bracelet. So what? We need someone to... Do we know anyone who can do something with a mold? It's getting late. No. Gabriel decides to go home. For That's another day. <laughs> so we're going to day four. Oh, Malia Getty. I'm going inside. Oh, I'm afraid St. George's is closed for the day. I'm not a customer. I'm here to see the owner. Why don't you just leave your name and number with me, and I'll tell you. Grace, you you're so chill. Listen, if Gabriel is here. He'll want to see me. Is he? Here? I really couldn't say for certain, but in the morning... Gracie, say goodnight. <laughs> She's so angry. <laughs> She's really pissed. Oh my. You came. I didn't think you would. I didn't think I would either. Your eyes. Mm. Uh, I, I could show you around a little. It's it's not much, but... Please don't. I couldn't focus on much of anything right now. Yeah, I know. God, what is it about you? Just shut up and kiss me. Okay. Not sure if, you know... Okay, day four. I spoke to one who smelled of death. 
he gave to me his ears, and crosses that were marked were made into a veil of tears. So someone who smelled of death. So either a corpse or someone who works with corpses. Or someone who's about to die. Uh, something with crosses and a veil. So the graveyard probably. Hmm. So. Hey, who's that guy? Who's that guy? I guess we're taking our coffee first. You know, instead of, you know, asking, hey, what the hell are you doing in front of my window? You're not speaking to me this morning? <laughs> Don't be silly. I just have nothing to say. Have it your way. Okay, she is definitely pissed. Hmm. Have you noticed this guy outside the shop? Yeah, he gives me the creeps. I wish he'd go away. Did you find out anything about that pattern I gave you? Yeah, I did find something. I checked the microfiche at the public library. I found an article about a murder in 1810. The newspaper published part of a pattern found... 1810. It looks damn close. You're incredible. All that work. Forget it. So it has been around for like centuries. Well, no, I guess one and a half century. Almost two. Um, do we have any messages? Got a minute, Gray? What's up? Ah, we do. Do you have messages for me? Your grandmother called. Oh. She said to remind you to stop by and go through your father's things. Hmm, okay. Okay, so we're going to our grandmothers. Do you have messages for me? That man from Germany called again, Wolfgang Ritter. Now he's claiming to be a relative of yours. Interesting. Of course he is. Because Ritter lit literally means knight, so of course it is. Can I get that phone number for Wolfgang Ritter? Sure, I'll give it to you when we're done talking. Okay. Hmm. What can you tell me about St. John's Eve? John yeah, finally we can go to Grandma. It must be a local custom. New Orleanians love to party. Hmm. Okay. So... Here's that phone number. Thanks. I guess we'll... Actually, read the newspaper first, you know. That's an important part of our day. To read the newspaper. <laughs> I mean, our horoscope is really important. Time faded June 21st, oh, 1993. No. Gabriel's eye is immediately drawn to an article about the voodoo. Mm. He scans it quickly. Yeah. I don't believe this. They've closed the case. What case? The voodoo murders case. Yeah. The paper says that the police have learned that the murders were a result of an underworld cartel war and that the war is over. That's not good. It's ridiculous. And what about the killers? And the voodoo angle, they never got anything on that. I know you were into it, Gabriel, but if it's over, that's hardly a negative. <sighs> anyway, if you're that upset, why don't you talk it over with your pal Mosley? You don't get it, Grace. Just forget it, okay? Gabriel decides to check his horoscope, <laughs> despite his disgust. Death walks close to you today. Resist temptation lest his eye fall on you, too. Peachy. Gabriel also spots an ad for Sam Springleton, a jeweler. Sam hangs out at the Napoleon house. For a reasonable cost, but we don't have money. Um, case closed. Voodoo murders solved. The so-called voodoo murders are over at last, says Detective Franklin, Franklin Mosley of the New Orleans Police Department. Our investigation has turned up that these murders were the result of an underworld drug cartel war set mostly at the press conference yesterday evening. That war has now ended and the people of this great city are safe again. The police say they are doubling efforts to crack down on the underworld drug trade that briefly turned New Orleans into its private battleground. Yeah. 
I don't believe that it's over. <laughs> huh. Okay, so let's uh, call Wolfgang. See if he has anything to say. Didn't Grace say you had to dial 011 first to get international? Maybe. Four nine zero nine three two four three three. I'm not calling Germany. And Wolfgang Rittergeist says he's a relative, but I've never heard of him. <laughs> Jesus Christ, Knight, I'm gonna freaking kill you someday. <laughs> ah, fine. What's up with that guy? I really don't trust him. <laughs> Is he going to kill me? I'll be back later. Have fun. Hmm. Apparently, we don't really do anything about that. Um. So it's the twenty-first, right? So the overlook is um, open. Where does Grandma live? Oh, there she does. Grandma Knight's house. Gabriel, I'm so glad you stopped by. Oh, sorry it's been a while, Grandma. Not at all. <laughs> Give me a kiss. Now come on, sit down. Tell me how mm, you Okay. <laughs> Let's talk about the family. She's doing a lot of knitting. Um how have you been, Grant? Just fine, dear. I'm sorry I bothered you at work, but um, I was hoping you'd get a chance to go through your father's things in the attic. Don't be silly. You can call me anytime. Oh, jeez. Tell me about our family. Who would you like to hear about? Your granddad, your father, or your mother? Um. Tell me something about granddad. Your granddad immigrated to America when he was 20. From Germany? He walked his way through school, met and married me, and we had your father, Philip. Because Her Harrison isn't really a typical German name. Tell me something about granddad. Your granddad supported me and your father with bookkeeping. Oh, I'll tell you what, though. He hated ever minute of it. <laughs> Didn't really like bookkeeping one bit. Maybe that was why he had the worst luck with jobs. Oh, the nights he'd come home afraid to tell me he lost another. And I'd tell him it didn't matter to me, but he felt ashamed, Gabriel. Oh. Poor grandfather. Tell me something about granddad. Harrison was only 36 oh, when geez. he died. Your father was eight years old at the time. Your granddad was hit by a streetcar in the business district. It took me nearly a year to believe he was really gone. I'm sorry, Grant. Oh, I know you are, dear. You mean he was murdered? By someone in a car? Tell me something about Granddad. Did you know that your Granddad was a poet? He was. He wrote the most. Was he Heinz Ritter? For me when we were courting. I always thought he should have done something with that gift. Because we have a book of Heinz. Man. Didn't believe in chasing after dreams. Tell me about my father. Huh. Your father was my only child. How we well, let me guess he died when he was about 36 or something? Tell me about my father. Philip suffered from terrible nightmares, just like your granddad did. Oh, they were two peas in a pod. Oh. Tell me about my father. 
When Philip met your mother, oh, it was love at first sight. Oh my, two weeks later. Never looked at a girl seriously until then. Wow. He looked at plenty. You have your father's way with women, Gabriel. And your granddad's. <laughs> Tell me about my father. I wanted to just lay down and die when he and your mother were killed. A car crash? crash when you were only eight. It was the thought of taking care of you oh. that kept me going, Gabriel. The police say your father swerved off the road after being frightened by something. Perhaps a deer on the road or, or a wildcat. Why do our family members get murdered in car accidents? Tell me about my father. Your granddad wanted Philip to have a normal life. He was obsessed by that thought. He pushed Philip to go to law school, but Philip was driven to art. He painted almost in a daze. He would get so inside himself when he worked. So, our granddad immigrated from, well, from Germany, let's be honest. Uh, he gets killed when he's 36. And his son gets killed when he's about the same age. hated that it was Margaret's money that supported the three of you when his painting couldn't. I kept telling him, try something more cheerful. Like a landscape or two, but he couldn't do it. His work was just too dark and disturbing mm. for the public, you know. Okay. Tell me about my mother. Your mother was Margaret Templeton when your father met her. Mm. She came from a very wealthy Creole family in New Orleans. She was beautiful and reckless. She was madly in love with your father, mm. of course, but... I also think she liked to find her family. Since you're so interested in family history these days, why don't you go by oh, the visit the tomb one and visit the family tomb? It would be such a sweet gesture. Hmm. It's just past the Ross tomb, right? Oh, maybe I will. Hmm. <laughs> Tell me about my mother. Your mother's family refused to give her money after the marriage. All she had left was a modest trust fund from her great aunt, who happened to like Philip. The remainder of your mother's trust fund became yours when she died. That's what you used to open your bookshop. Oh. Tell me about my mother. The Templetons are all gone now. Every last one of them. Oh, they never wanted anything to do with us, of course. What a waste. I don't really think we need to. Oh, let's compliment her. You, know, you get prettier every time I see you. Oh, you. No. Oh. oh, nothing. Never mind. All right, dear. Okay, so something happened in Germany, and for some reason, our family is getting killed off all the time. I'm gonna go up to the attic, right? Be careful of the dust. No. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh. All right, let's see. Ooh, I like a clock. Oh, no, I want to look at the clock. An elaborate mechanical clock, probably of German origin, is among the discarded treasures of the attic. Does it have a secret compartment? I think I'll leave that up here. No. Oh. Hmm. What? <laughs> a dagger, a sun, an angel. Don't know what that is. Like, is it? It looks like a sort of eclipse or something. Is that a, a noose? And like a dragon? Three. Wait, wait, wait. Three dragons. Wait, how do I... How do I handle this? Three... Three... Dragons. No? Oh my god. There's an interesting design in the base of the clock. Three dragons.
No. Did I push something? <laughs> what am I doing with my life? Dragons. <laughs> okay. That's... Yeah, I was trying to move it, but... Wait, I was probably clicking on the wrong thing. Oh, like, like that. Or drag. Three dragons. Do I put the dragons at the top and then three o'clock? Like this? It must be a different hour. of knickknacks has been up here for Aww. at least five years is there anything in it there's nothing i want in there no. there's a lot of granddad's old stuff in here might be mm. something interesting a bundle of letters Oh. Love letters between Harrison and Rebecca. Yeah, can I read them? A bundle of letters. Okay, no. More of Harrison Knight's German books. Just what I need. Yeah, take him. More of Harrison Knight's German books. Just what I need. Yeah, I want them. The Bible. Well, yeah. What? What's that for? What? this it's some sort of key oh is that for the clock maybe why can i move these some old clothes including a pair of leather shorts oh leather hosen <laughs> why I find this slightly racist. Slightly. <laughs> Stein? Was that all we needed, the key? I guess it is. That's all we can do, right? I guess it is.
No, oh, there's the keyhole. Three dragons? The key winds the clock's mechanism. Granddaddy, you old fox. A secret draw has opened in oh, the base of the clock. All right, let's have a look at those. The back of the photo has the following written on it Schloss Ritter, 1925. Hmm. The letter is written in German, but Gabriel determines what he can about it. It was sent from a place called Schloss Ritter in Rittersburg, West Germany. The letter is addressed to mein Sohn Heinz and signed oh. Wilhelm Ritter. One of the reoccurring words strewn throughout the letter is the word Schattenjäger. The only other thing that Gabriel can decipher about the letter is a sense of urgency in the handwriting and in the heavy use of a quill tip. Bold strokes and underlining. So, Shadow Hunter. Hmm. Let's ask Grandma. Hmm. 